Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about multiple inheritance in java programming so guys in java we can achieve multiple inheritance with the help of interfaces we can inherit multiple interfaces but not multiple classes so guys both of these examples we had already seen previously either we can use the extends keyword in order to extend a particular class or we can use the implement keyword in order to inherit a particular interface so guys let us see how multiple inheritance can be achieved multiple inheritance is a way in order to inherit the fields and methods from the multiple classes so guys this we cannot achieve with the extends keyword but we can achieve it with the help of implements keyword which is used in order to implement the interfaces let us move to the examples so over here let us say we have two classes so the very first class is animal so class animal and then inside of this class let's say we have a string that is animal name so we have animal name as the string over here and we have also a method that is going to display this name so we have display animal over here and then i'll just have the print statement now so we have the print statement as name of animal is and then we have animal name over here so we put animal name over here now guys let us say we have another class so we have class and this class is country so in this country again we are having a string that is a country name so we have country name over here and in order to access this country name let's say we have void display country as the method so this display country method will just print the name of the country that is country name so i'll just copy this over here and put a print statement and over here we will have name of country is and then i'll just paste this variable name that is country name now guys let's say we want to create a child class that is having both that is animal name as well as the country name to be inherited to that child class so how can we inherit that so let's say we have class and i'll just name this as a child class over here so we have child class and then in order to inherit these classes what we can do is we can use the extends keyword so we have extends followed by the name of this parent class that is animal now guys over here we have used extends animal but we also want to extend the country that's because we also want this country name to be present in this child class so how do we extend this so should we put another extends over here and then we have another class name that is country and then inside these curly braces can we have it in this way no guys since we are getting a red underline over here it says syntax error on token extends permit accepted so guys we cannot have multiple extends keyword over here so can we just remove this extend keyword and provide a comma over here so that we can provide multiple classes with the extends keyword so no guys again we are getting a red underline over here it says syntax error on token so guys in any way we cannot extend multiple classes over here in java so guys how do we achieve our required of having both that is country name as well as the animal name inside the child class so guys in order to solve this problem we will be using the interfaces so instead of having classes over here we will define this class as an interface so we have interface animal and since you know in interfaces we cannot have the implementation of methods so i'm just going to remove this line of code over here i'll have to remove these curly braces as well that is supposed to be replaced by a semicolon so guys this is just a template that is display animal will be just a method name and there will be no implementation similarly over here we have to provide interface for this country class that we had defined and we have to remove this implementation as well we have to replace it with a semicolon now guys we have two interfaces over here instead of classes that is interface animal and we have interface country and both of these are having different strings that is animal name country name and these methods as well that is display animal and display country now guys we can implement both of these interfaces inside the child class so i'll show you how it can be done so over 
over here we'll have to remove this i'll show you completely how it can be done so class child class this is the name of the child class over here and in order to inherit the interfaces as i have told you previously as well we have to use the implements keyword and after the implements we have the name of the interface so i'll just copy this animal interface paste this over here separated by comma so we have comma and then we have the second interface that is country so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and then followed by open and close curly braces so guys as you can see now there are no error messages over here that is animal and country can be easily implemented similarly you can have more interface names over here separated by commas depending on your requirements now guys we are getting an error over here it says the type child class must implement the inherited abstract method animal dot display name so i'll just provide add unimplemented methods so guys we have to implement them that's because we have inherited them and these are just the abstract methods over here so what we will do over here is the same print statement we will have so print in the display country we have country name is and then followed by country name so we have country name variable over here and similarly we will have the animal name as well so i'll just copy this line of code that is print statement and paste this over here replace this country by animal so animal name is we will put animal name over here as the variable name so now as you can see the error is gone we no longer have any error in the child class but we are having errors over here so it says the blank final field country name may not have been initialized so guys what we will do over here is we will just initialize it so i'll just put initialize public static final string country name so over here country name let's say i'll put united states over here as the country name and over here as well in the similar way we'll put the animal name so let's say the animal one of the animals is dog so we'll put dog over here so guys what we have done over here is these variables that is animal name and country name we have just initialized them and inside these interfaces we have to keep them static and final so guys in this way we can achieve multiple inheritance over here now after achieving multiple inheritance we can access this display country or the display animal as well in order to print these statements or execute certain lines of codes so let me just do that so what i will do is we will have to create the object of this child class since we cannot create the objects of these interfaces as we had seen previously so we have this child class followed by the object that is child object so it is going to have new child class now guys we can easily access the display animal and display country methods since we have implemented them in the child class so i'll just do that quickly over here so we have child object over here child object dot the very first thing is we are going to display the animal so we have display animal and then again the second line of code it will be child object and then we have display country over here so we are going to display both the very first thing is animal the second thing is country so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as we can see animal name is dog and country name is united states and these are the string values that we had assigned to these variables so guys this is the way we can achieve multiple inheritance in java programming using interfaces we can have any number of interfaces being implemented in a particular child class so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is encapsulation and data hiding in java programming so stay tuned